Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Now I've made several pulao recipes and today I'm going to share another wonderful pulao recipe with you guys. This is paneer matar pulao. It's very easy to make and it's extremely delicious. Let's get started and check it out. For the pulao, first I'm going to soak two cups of basmati rice. This is uh, totally about 500 ml. Washed a few times, pour enough water and soak it for about 30 minutes. I've taken 400 grams of fresh paneer, cut into medium sized cubes and put it in a bowl. I'm going to season it with a few spices, starting with half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon garam masala powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Mix everything well so the paneer pieces are coated in the spice powders. Let this sit for about 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, I'm just going to roast the paneer pieces. To a pan, add about 1 tablespoon of ghee. Place all the paneer pieces onto the pan and roast them on all sides. You can just turn them from time to time and make sure all the sides are lightly roasted. Once you've roasted the paneer pieces, remove it from the pan and keep it aside. To the pressure cooker, add about 2 tablespoons of ghee and 1 tablespoon of oil. Add all the whole spices, add some cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, tar anise, maize, add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and 2 bay leaves. Next add two large onions thinly sliced. Now add four large green chilies slit. Mix everything well. Next add two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. Saute for about a minute. Next add two small tomatoes finely chopped. Next, add 2 tablespoons of whisked curd, add 1 teaspoon of chilli powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 teaspoon garam masala powder. Add a little salt and mix everything well. Add 1 cup of fresh peas. After adding the fresh peas, just mix everything well. If you don't have fresh peas, you can also use the frozen ones. Add a few fresh mint leaves some fresh coriander leaves, mix that in. Add the roasted paneer pieces and mix it in. Add the soaked rice, gently mix the rice in along with the paneer and the mutter. Just gently take care not to break the rice. Next add two and a quarter cups of water. Mix that in. You can check for seasoning. If you need to add salt, you can add at this point. Close the pressure cooker and pressure cook for about one whistle on medium high flame. Let's open the pressure cooker and check this delicious pulao. Wow, you can see this absolutely gorgeous mutter paneer pulao looks fantastic. The rice is cooked perfectly. So I'm just serving it with some nice raita and brinjal curry by the side. You can serve it and enjoy it however you like. The link for the brinjal curry will be given in the description. You can check that out as well. The mutter paneer pulao looks gorgeous with the nice moist and soft paneer pieces and this delicious and flavorful rice.
So there you go. You can see how delicious this paneer matar pulao is. Now I have made other recipes using paneer. I'll give you a couple of links in the description. You can check them out to try the recipe, enjoy, and share it with your family and friends. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.